Uh, so whether or not that gets impacted to be watched out very closely. Let's um, take you to an exclusive story now on CNBC TV 18. Sources are telling us that Star Health Insurance is planning to branch out into the life insurance business. And yes, Shen, our colleague, gets us all those details. Yes. Well, that's correct. Uh, so this time around, the insurance companies will focus on the budget session more than the budget itself. And that's because a very crucial uh, set of amendments are expected to be taken up in the budget session. Uh, those are the insurance amendments. One of the most important one would be the composite uh, insurance license, which allows life insurance uh, companies to operate in general insurance and vice versa. Uh, so far, CNBC TV 18 has reported on two companies. One is LIC and second one is HDFC Life. The two companies are planning to enter the health insurance market. Uh, today, what we're going to tell you is about Star Health Insurance, which is a health insurance company operating in the standalone health insurance space, uh, which is planning to enter the life insurance market. This is large because life insurance companies generally do have large capital which can support underwriting on the health insurance side. But uh, for Star being a health insurance company to enter life insurance will be a big move for the company. As far as the product uh, focus is concerned, what we've been given to understand from our sources is that Star Health Insurance is likely to focus on protection of the term life insurance products. And this is with the thinking that it would complement its current portfolio of health insurance products, giving a bouquet in terms of health insurance as well as term life insurance products. Uh, what we've been given to understand is that, uh, as, as I reported, the hope is that the parliament session will take up the insurance amendments. And if that happens, then Star Health Insurance would be putting uh, its proposal with the insurance regulator, IRDAI. And then, of course, the process will, uh, will, will go on from that point when the regulator considers this particular proposal. All right, Yash, thanks a lot for bringing us all of those exclusive details. With that, we're going to get into a break. Our first on the show, but on the other side, the last budget saw the government emphasize on the production and branding of millet. So how has this push for millet production really turned out? And what are the millet farmers seeking now? We'll tell you more after, we, after the short break.